Today we're going to demystify lingerie. So I'm going to go through um, several of the options that you can get out in the stores, order online. Um, some people don't know the difference between a bustier and a corset or what to wear or what will flatter your shape the best. So I am going to show you some pieces that we actually do have in our store here at Honey Bee Intimates at the time of this recording. Um, so I encourage you to either stop by and see me because we can do a one-on-one -on -one appointment and um, totally size you and fit you. You can try things on so that you can see exactly what works really well for your body and what you love. Um, or learn, taking this information and when you're out and about shopping on your own, you can try things on and kind of knowing what you're looking for because that is the um, concern that I have with a lot of women coming in. They wanna do the boudoir shoot but they have no idea what to wear or what will look good. Um, I have specially curated things that will photograph really well as far as color, texture, structure, interest of the piece, and what will make you look let's great. So let's get started. The first thing, very common, you don't need to go out and buy a whole lot of you know lingerie when a bra and panty set will work just fine. So this is your classic bra and panty set. Matching, uh, you know, a beautiful top, beautiful bra, matching bottoms. This one is unwired, but it has a really um, supportive seam down here. So it, it gives you the comfort and the, or it gives you the support uh, along with having comfort. This is also unlined. Well, it's got one little lining on there, so it's not a push up. You want to try to avoid push up bras if you can, because sometimes it gives you a little bit of an unnatural shape. And in some of the poses that we do, um, you'll see gappage in here. So while a push-up bra might be really great for going out on the town, it's not uh, a really good idea um, if you are doing a boudoir shoot. So if you can stay away from a push-up bra, there are other things that we can do. There are inserts that we can put in to kind of push the girls up a little bit. We've got boob tape, and there are other things that we can do, but I would stick, stay away from the padded, really push-up bra. Um, underwire though, if you do need support um, and a little lift, you can do underwire. Just make sure you're looking for one that maybe isn't so padded and so push up as well. Um, so, and if you're a little bit smaller chested like me, then you don't, you can just do it like a bralette. You don't have to do underwire um, necessarily. And the whole lingerie set um, is three pieces. So you have your bra, this one is a bralette. Um, it does come with undies. These are so adorable. This one is kind of, this one's a tanga. So the style of this panty is a tanga because it's not quite a thong because this part does come down and create a beautiful V in your booty here with uh, a little bit of coverage. So it's not a true G-string thong. But the thing that makes this a set then is the third piece is the garter belt. The garter belt is worn high on the waist right around where your waist is, right around your belly button or just below your belly button. And the panties then will sit below it. So you have this beautiful um, panty garter set. Some garters come with, um, you know, this is, this wraps around your thigh. So you don't have to attach stockings. So you have your garter on and you have the piece that goes around here. Because basically, if you wore stockings in the olden days, this would be a tight elastic piece that would keep that stocking in place. Other garters don't come with the side piece. They come with just the clip that when you pull it on stockings, then it clips to your stockings. So this just is, it, it used to be, um, it used to be a piece that was really needed back in the day uh, because you needed to hold those stockings up. Um, I don't know why they didn't think to continue them all the way up back in the day, but they didn't. So this, this held up your stockings. But, um, you know, it makes a beautiful piece to photograph in. I really love the straps because um, it, it is a leading line. Um, so when I get you into some poses, and we get your curves to show, then those straps really kind of outline your, your thigh and accentuate that curve. I also love stockings too. You can wear these with or without stockings. I've photographed people that have just kind of let the garter belts 
dangle because that's also beautiful. But stockings, um, they lengthen your leg. They, especially if you use like sheer, um, sheer black stockings, it outlines your leg. So it makes your leg look long and lean and shapely. Um, even like a nude stocking, um, the outline of your leg will kind of shade and darken a little bit. So you still get that a little bit too. And then you have the line up the back that's totally vintage. It's called a Cuban heel. Uh, and that too, when shot from behind, it's a leading line, it's a vertical line. So it makes your legs look stunning and long and lean. So that is your three piece lingerie set. If you're gonna do a garter belt and you're gonna have stockings, most stockings today come, you know, like thigh high stockings, but they have a super tight rubbery piece on the inside of the stocking because it's meant to keep them up because not everybody walks around in garter belts all day. And I think we should because I think they're stunning and totally vintage and elegant and they make you feel so beautiful underneath, but whatever. Uh, most people don't. So they'll have a thigh high stocking and then it gets really, really tight right here with that rubber piece so that they will stay up. But what that often does too then is create a muffin top for your thigh. So your thigh is really cinched in, but all of this right here tends to come out and over because you're displacing it. So if you're going to do a stocking, either look for a stocking that doesn't have that rubbery stay in place, um, band on the inside or buy a stocking that is a size or two larger so there's lots of room right here so that when we attach it to your garter belt um it's it, it wrap it, it fits your thigh the way it should it doesn't cinch it in we do have stockings here as well i do carry the ones that do not have the the that tight band but if you're on your own or if you have a pair at home um, and you want to bring them in just try to avoid that so or by a size that's um a size bigger a size or two bigger than that so high-waisted panty fits every body shape it looks good on every body shape um it allows for and it can be this one is um kind of a mid cut but you can buy a high cut high leg high-waisted panty because it really brings out those curves it's not cutting you off anywhere in an awkward way and making your um, hip look short and cut off so it brings the eye all the way up to your waist it also accentuates your curve it hides anything that you might want hiding right here it doesn't it, it, it kind of keeps everything in when you do like a brief or a boy cut short um, or a bikini it cuts you off and cuts your hips right in half and it tends to be right under where, if you've got a mama pooch like I do, um, it tends to cut you right there. And then there is skin and everything else that kind of goes up over the top of it. But I suggest a high, high-waisted brief or a thong. And a thong is good, even though it does cut you off a little bit here, it makes all your booties look round. Um, you know, like I said, sometimes the, the boy cut or the, um, the, the um, bikini brief tends to cut you off here. Um, sometimes an extra fabric here is not as flattering um, when, to, to make a round booty and a shapely booty where we can do a lot of things with a thong. So if we're doing just panties, these are the two that I suggest. Okay, if two pieces are not your jam, we can kind of go in between. Or if you've got a really long torso like I do, I sometimes can't wear bodysuits because I'm so long. I can't wear a lot of one piece swimsuits either, uh, but I don't necessarily want to wear, you know, a two piece. So this is where we have a bustier. This bustier does come with um, the garter straps for your stockings. Um, and it fits like a tankini. So it's long, you put it on, and it, but it comes in two pieces. It has the matching um, thong that goes with it. Um, it. So it gives you coverage right here. You don't have to worry about it riding up if you're long-waisted or coming down and not fitting right. This one happens to tie in the back. It does have a bra clasp back here, and then it ties in the back, and it has the adjustable straps, so I can get it to fall on my body wherever I need it to, and then have the matching um, thong underwear. So 
Um, it's like those tankinis, like I said. It's two pieces, so it kind of gives you that sexy feel of two pieces, but it gives you a little bit more coverage. Some bustiers come in with boning, so it kind of brings things in like a corset. Um, we'll talk about corsets in a minute, but I would try to avoid anything that has boning in it so that you have freedom to move. But that is a bustier. This one is underwire, so it does give you a little bit of lift. Um, some do come with cups, uh, so they come in different styles and um, support and that kind of thing. So this is your average, this is your corset. This comes in a lot of different styles too, in lengths and coverage. Some come with built-in cups. This one does not have built-in cups, um, but it does have the sweetheart front, um, the sweetheart top in front, which I think is beautiful because it adds shape to the roundness of your breasts um, versus anything that's straight across. So this will give you um, visual, um, shape um, and then it ties in the back. Some of the vintage corsets uh, come with extra pieces here that ride on your hip. Um, the point of corsets back in the day was to give you the hourglass shape that was viewed as beautiful and very feminine and very shapely so it brings out your bosoms you know it gives you sh sh um, lift and shape up here but it comes in at your waist and then swells out with your hips so it gives you that hourglass shape. So a corset really cinches that in tight. And while it does a really good job with cinching in that waist and giving you that perfect, beautiful hourglass shape, these are not fantastic to photograph in because most of them come with this boning, which is a little metal piece in here um, that, I mean, if you hear the stories or read about history about the women fainting, you really can't move or breathe in these. Um, I can do a couple sitting down poses in these, um, but it mostly for standing up. They are beautiful. I do love the shape that they give, but again, they're limited in what we can photograph in. But because there's so much um, cinching that it displaces the rest of your skin and tissue into other places. So typically what happens then is things spill up and over. So if you're thinking about the corset route, just remember that sometimes a lot of this extra skin that's right here will come up and over the top. Um, and that is not also very flattering. Okay, bodysuits. This is a classic bodysuit. When you think of bodysuit, you kind of think of long sleeve, short sleeve. Um, you know, it's they snap in the crotch. If they snap in the crotch, that's awesome. This one is a complete cover, total long sleeve bodysuit. I love these because not only can you wear them out and about when your shoot is over, um, but they lend really well to creating shape without having to be in lingerie or your underwear or a bra and panty. Uh, it covers spots that you want covered. Um, it's They're flattering on everybody. They're form-fitting. We can do some really beautiful things in bodysuits. This one happens to be translucent, which gives it the effect of, you know, a little bit of mystery and peekaboo and leaves a little bit to your imagination. Um, others come are solid. You can wear a whole solid one. You can wear a tank top bodysuit. I have one here in the client closet that is um, like a um, off or has one one sleeve but not the other. So the neckline comes through here. So this side's all open. The side is long sleeve. That makes some really um, beautiful aesthetic photography. Um, you can do halter tops, you can do, I did a, I did a lady who brought in a bodysuit and it was gorgeous. It had a cap sleeve, it was full black, but she had a little keyhole cut out here. So we did some really beautiful things showing a little bit of that top boob. Uh, so there's lots of things that we can do with bodysuits. So this is your classic bodysuit. This one actually has full coverage in the back. You can get a thong too. I have a few of those that have the thongs as well. Um, I've got a couple that have, um, I should have brought this one too. I have some that have snakes that come up and the, the it's sheer and mesh, but we have these uh, Medusa serpent snakes that come up and cover you um, with their heads right here. So that's really sexy and stunning. And I have one called Smoke and Mirrors that's all black, but it has flames that come up. So it's all sheer in through here. It's a halter top, but it has these black flames that come up and cover you in just the right spot. So that's really hot too. So I've got lots of versions of, of bodysuits here and you can go crazy with, with the bodysuits. Those are really cool. 
Um, then we have bodysuits that I, I call them, they, they resemble swimsuits. This one has um, no lining, no, but it has an underwire, so this will give you support. This one has a black back clasp as well, um, and these come in all different kinds of styles and varieties too. So this one is just a very basic bodysuit. It's sheer so that you can, you know, see, see a little peek of, of things. And then there are some bodysuits that are barely there. <laughs> um, this one is a plunge neck. So again, we talked about vertical lines. So anything that draws your eye up and down will make you look long. Um, so this one is a plunge. Some plunges come to just the center of your breast. This one comes all the way down to your, your belly button. So it's bringing that eye up and down. This one has no back, so it's a tie. Uh, this goes up around your waist, which basically gives you your whole leg. So that strap comes here and then comes down, but there's nothing here. So if your goal is to make your legs look a mile long, the higher the cut, the longer your leg is. Because where your eye goes, you know, if, it, if, it, if the bodysuit or your underwear comes to here, then your leg only, you know, it looks like your leg only stops here. But the higher you go with that cut, the longer your leg is going to look. And if you can bring it all the way up to your waist, then when we photograph you, that whole curve is what your eye sees. So this is a very plunging, but gorgeous bodysuit. If you're looking for a little more for co full coverage, <clears throat> I know sometimes you wanna hide things or make them not as noticeable. If you are very uncomfortable with any area that's right here, uh, you might want to reach for a baby doll. I don't suggest a baby doll necessarily. This one is a baby doll um, because it usually comes up higher. The waist, the empire waist usually comes up higher and then billows out and then we lose your shape. Um, so the point to how I shoot is to showcase your curves. I want to, I want to see them. I don't want them hidden. Um, but you know what? It's totally your choice. We will work with things, whatever you're comfortable with. This for instance is a baby doll, but it is tight fitted and, uh, well not tight fitted, form fitted. There's a difference. You don't, there's a difference between tight and form fitting. We don't want things to be tight where they're pinching into your skin. Um, but we do want it to be form-fitting. So this is a form-fitting baby doll. This is a short cut. So it does come down just below your bum so that we can do some really beautiful things with popping that booty and having a little bit of under, under cheek showing. And uh, again, it's that little bit of a mystery. It still gives you shape because this is form-fitting, not tight. Um, it's translucent, it's see-through. Um, so this is really beautiful. So a baby doll that has interest in it, structure in it, the right fit, we can totally do some fun things. Um, but a baby doll, if you're looking, if you're looking to cover up, we can cover up in a lot of other different ways. So you just have to trust me, trust me. Um, yeah, trust me. Okay, so in lieu of a baby doll, if you have any of these lying around, or if your mom or your grandma has a few lying around, some of the vintage one, it's beautiful. This is a slip. So a slip is what all the women used to wear under their clothes to keep, as a lining, uh, to keep the static electricity at bay, to get all of your sweat and dirt and oils on this rather than your outfit. So this was the first piece that you always put on and then you put your dress on. But of course, in a woman's boudoir, in a woman's bedroom, when the clothes came off and this is all you had, it was extremely sexy. Um, and so that's why I love these because they are usually silky, um, lacy, feminine, form-fitting because you didn't want a whole lot of extra bulk under your dress. So these are beautiful. This one is pink. You can get white, ivory, black, nude. We can do a lot of shapely things in this as well. Gives you cover if you don't want to wear your bra and underwear. Um, 
but it makes for beautiful photos. Some of them have slits so they can do, you know, legs showing through. So these are, are beautiful and they usually have quite a bit of coverage. So you feel a little more modest, but yet we can extract that beautiful shape. And this is called a chemise. So um, the difference between a chemise or a baby doll or a slip is back a little bit further in the day when women did wear the corsets, um, they would put the chemise on first and then they would put the corset on because again, sweat, oil, dirt, hot weather would get on your corset and that corset was a lot harder to wash uh, and keep clean. So this was a lot easier. So you would put your chemise on first. Um, some chemises, this one is um, unwired and um, and uh, it, does, it is lined, but it's a soft cup. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, <clears throat> uh, others have cups um, and underwire, but it, you would put this on first. And so this is very, very tight fitting. So where a slip gives you a little bit more flow and freedom, this one is meant to fit tight right around your waist, right around your hips, because then again, you didn't want a lot of bulky fabric to put your corset on and have wrinkles and things digging in. So this was meant to be a very, very form fitting. Um, and then you would put your corset on. These ones do come with matching panty. Um, these are stunning as well because we can also showcase your form and your shape and your curves while having the element of being a little bit more modest and being more covered up. Last but not least, um, you know, you can, you can bring in his shirt. I call it his shirt or the white shirt session. Um, so we can do a lot of beautiful things with a white shirt. So we can do things off the shoulder. We can do things covered up um, uh, and showing a little bit of side boob. We can do things off the shoulder and showcase the back as we let it hang down a little bit. Um, mine that I have in the studio for client, um, for client borrowing are sheer. So if you can kind of see through that a little bit, maybe not, maybe not with this lighting, but this is very sheer. And this is beautiful because it uh, will, the light will shine through it. And so I do a lot of poses in front of the large windows with a really big sheer or very light linen. This one I think is a sleep shirt. So it's just made of that really thin linen cotton. Um, and we do poses and shapes and that light shines through and we can see the outline of your body and it's super beautiful because you're there but you can't really see it and a lot of women will go topless under this so that we just see the outline of your curve um, or just a hint of your breasts which is very sensual and sexy and then again it's sort of a goddess the goddess pose of, you know, I'm a woman, I have curves and here they are without saying, here I am. <laughs> um, we'll do underwear under here, we'll do no underwear under here, we'll do thongs under here, and we'll do little booty, booty shots. So um, if you're going to bring his shirt, which is really sexy, because then you can say, I'm wearing your shirt, or if you're gonna go out and buy your own, um, you want to get something that's really thin and light and flowy so there's a lot of movement some of those stiff shirts that are starched stiff um, we can work with especially if it's his shirt and you want to photograph yourself in his shirt we can make it work but if you're going to go out and get something on your own something as thin and movability and a size or two larger than you normally would but we do have these at the studio. I have this one, which is linen, so it's a little bit thicker. And then I have some that are mesh, uh, so it's completely translucent and see-through, um, well, more than this anyway, so. I hope that helps. You will also get a printed lingerie guide so you can read this. I just wanted to do this video because sometimes it's a lot to read and I'm able to talk things through and show you, um, you know, I can show you the visuals of what things look like. So I am always here to help you. If you need anything, please feel free to reach out. And um, I can't wait to see you at your shoot soon.